ask the secretary speaker. to read the fourth order. Honorable speaker. Yes, honorable Lozi. No, no. Uh, honorable speaker, I want to rise in terms of rule 31. That uh, which allows me to raise an urgent motion without notice. I want to sincerely, Speaker, on behalf at least of the EFF, to congratulate you on your new marriage. Sincerely. We, we believe in love. And we believe that we must celebrate people who found love. We wish you success and happiness. Sincerely and genuinely, Speaker. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. And we can perhaps all of us join associate ourselves with the motion. It's an urgent motion. Let us celebrate love, comrades. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Dozi, thank you very much. But if I were you, I would have chosen a different time. But now that you have done that, may I take the opportunity to congratulate the Honorable Shope. Parliament rises on the 9th of December. I don't want to raise expectations here that by the 9th of December we will have it done. Yeah. That's when Parliament rises. Um, that's why I'm saying I take the sentiments. I'm not going to allow you, Ms. Van Damme. I'm really not going to allow you. We're going to take the sentiments that we want to solve it as soon as possible, but don't walk out of here saying that it's going to be done by the 9th of February, or by the 9th of when we rise from Parliament. We will do as best as we can under the circumstances, because we are dealing with many people, uh, and we've got eight or seven days of preparation work uh, up front. If we can conclude this thing by the 9th, so be it. We will conclude it by the 9th, but we want to be thorough in our job. So I'm hoping that that ties and wraps up the sentiment. I see Honorable Ndozi. Uh, please, sir, yes. No, Chairperson, it's a different point. Do you know, I'm looking at the way you are dealing with Honorable Van Damme. Um, a lot of young black women watch Parliament. And the way it's, I don't, I just want to request the Chairperson to reconsider the way you are handling. And because I, 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 I'm moving forward. I wanted to raise it privately, but I think I must raise it open because the next time we'll have to blast. It's just not, it's too dismissive, Honorable Chairperson. And I don't think it warrants for a, a very good image of young black women in parliament. Uh, I think she's been making very excellent points. And every time, even if she's rising, uh, when you have concluded, I really don't think we must dismiss her in that way, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, I, I'm saying that in kind uh, because I also have confidence uh, uh, in, uh, in you as chair. So I'm just warning that it, it has not been coming out very well. I don't know what she did. I have not been around. Uh, but uh, but it's, it's, it, she's been dismissed over and over and over and over again. It's not good, Honorable Chairperson. She must be heard as equally as everyone. Thank you very much. No, let, me, let, me, let me, I'm not going to allow you, Honorable Chauke, for now. Let me just speak. I, I'm, not, I'm not, let me apologize if I've done it first, but let me also indicate that as chair, I would expect people to talk when I've recognized them. And I'm not saying anything else. So yes, let me apologize, and it was never intentional. But as I was making points, there were continuous disruptions, so, but I will take constant. I will take constructive criticism, Honorable Ndozi, and thank you very much. Uh, I, I certainly didn't intend to, to, to be dismissive to anybody, but then it must be, it must be two ways. Uh, we must respect each other so that the process moves forward. So, Honorable Van Damme, unconditional apology and every other a uh, young South African who might feel offended. I apologize. Uh, uh, I apologize. Can Honorable Makawula. The father of our nation, Tata Nelson Mandela, on the occasion of the signing of our constitution, when he said, I quote, as we close a chapter of exclusion and a chapter of heroic struggle, we reaffirm our determination 
the, to build the speaker, a society uh, of which Order, each of us can be proud. Chairperson. Honorable uh, Van Royen, can you take your seat? Honorable Josie. No, I thought uh, you could give the opportunity to this Gupta appointee to explain how is he going to Order. get back the money that the pensions Order. of our people have lost. Order. Because Honourable. his appointment as a Minister of Order. Finance Honourable has Honourable cost that our on a point of order. Could we get a sense of explaining on this Gupta appointee? Our people can hear. This Gupta appointee must explain to us how we are going to get the PIC money back. Honourable Lozi, I must apologize that I had to switch you off, but you know you were out of order. I would allow the minister to proceed. I quote, as we close the chapter of exclusion and the chapter of heroic struggle, we reaffirm our determination to build House a chair. society of which each of us can be proud Order, as minister. South Africans, as Africans and as citizens Honourable of the world, minister. unquote. Honorable minister, can you take your seat? What is your point of order? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, House Chair, I wanted to, uh, the, to check if the you Gupta point we can confirm that the speech he's reading is not order. written by the Guptas. Honorable member, you address can the he, can, No, it's a point of order. I'm raising that the you must check order. with him that uh, this speech is not seat? written by the Guptas. That's not a point of order. Can you take a seat? Honorable minister, can you proceed? As we commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Constitution,